Hello, my name is Piper Johnson and this is my book, Katie in the Clouds. It's a silly and fun adventure in the clouds with Katie and her friends. Have you ever seen shapes in the clouds before? Well, Katie does too with the help of her creative imagination. So come along with me while I read to you some of the things that Katie and her friends like to do in the sky. Let's get started. Katie in the Clouds. This book is dedicated to Molly, my best audience and my biggest fan. And she is my daughter. My name is Katie and I live in the clouds. I like to have fun and have friends all around. I imagine my friends are playing with me. I imagine the clouds are my friends I see. They make different shapes and form different things. Sometimes I see rabbits with huge diamond rings. We jump up and down. We love to hop. We hop through the clouds finding bubbles to pop. One day I saw a big giant whale with a water spout spring and a polka dot tail. I named the whale Wally and he gave me a ride. We went to a playground and slid down a slide. I think I saw what looked like a snake. It wasn't scary. Is it eating a cake? I really don't know. He wasn't there long. An airplane flew by and poof, he was gone. When clouds want to play, they wake me from sleeping. They'll morph into frogs and go jumping and leaping. We bounce through the sky on top of rainbows and I fall back asleep on my cloudy white pillow. Hey, look up there. It's a girl elephant with a bell on her neck everywhere she went. She played it like magic. It made pretty music. She let me play with it. I hope I don't lose it. I was driving a cloud that was built like a car. We kept stopping and laughing and didn't get far. We stopped for a turtle and to talk to a bee. We stopped for some ice cream and to laugh with a tree. I see a goat cloud when I'm cleaning my room. He's brushing his beard with a puffy cloud broom. That seems very silly. Why not use a brush? Oh, well, who knows? I won't make a fuss. I once watched a cloud become a giraffe. He was lanky and long and was taking a bath. He had a cap on his head and a little yellow ducky. I too have to bathe when I'm sticky and yucky. I spotted one sculpted like a squid in the sea. He was smiling and singing and waving at me. Fish covered their ears and boy, they looked mad. For as it turns out, squids sing awfully bad. Whenever I'm hungry, they look like french fries and cookies and pizza and baked apple pies. The food looks so real. I imagine it's yummy. I imagine it all going straight to my tummy. The clouds come and go all day and all night. And whatever I see, it's always just right. There's always something different to see. These clouds are my friends and are special to me. I hope you now know if there's a friend that you need Look up to the clouds, for that's where they'll be. Thank you for reading this book to the end, and always remember that clouds are your friends. The end. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Katie in the Clouds by Piper Johnson. That's me. And if you want to read more about some 
of the adventures that Katie has with her friends, you can go to my website at www.piperjohnsonbooks.com and there you can find out what happened with the rabbit in the huge diamond ring. Did you know that he's a rabbit king? And what about that squid who sings bad? What happened with him? And what about that giraffe in the back? Do you want to know what it takes to clean a giraffe? Well, you can find out. And she has a wonderful adventure with Wally the whale. And remember the elephant and the bell? Do you think she lost it? Who knows? If you want to find out, you can. Thank you. Katie in the Clouds by Piper Johnson. This one is the first book in the series. Thank you. Bye-bye.